Hi everyone and welcome to the next Spotter Fest. Well, a similar one was conducted yesterday as well, that is on 28th of December. And uh, on the same lines, we have another one which we are going to conduct today as well as tomorrow. So what is in this in, uh, Spotter Fest that we are having? It's a 7 to 11 p.m. series means at 5 time stamps of 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11, I'll be posting one video of a spotter image on each of these timestamps of 2 to 3 minutes each so five spotters per day or five images per day is what we are targeting so in case you've missed the yesterday's spotter fest it will take you five minutes to catch up on the same and i hope you'll be following the 7 to 11 pm series today and tomorrow as well so the image that we have right now is this and this is a biopsy which has been taken from the mitral valve and as, as soon as I say mitral valve obviously you start thinking of a lot of endocarditis and I think this particular cell then probably comes to your mind. So when we are talking about this cell if I can uh, draw this cell again there is a cell there is a nucleus inside it and that nucleus has a chromatin that looks like a caterpillar. So as you can guess, this is definitely a caterpillar cell but that is something that I am seeing with its appearance. What actually can be seen over here, the fancy name for it, it is an Anishkao cell. And caterpillar cell or Anishkao cells are seen in which bodies? They are seen in Ashoff bodies means I am talking about a case of rheumatic endocarditis or rheumatic heart disease. Now the catch point over here is that this is just one view of the cell that is why it's looking like a caterpillar and I'm calling it a caterpillar cell. If this cell is divided in a transverse section, if I look at this cell in a transverse section it would start looking like this. It will look like the same cell with the same nucleus but the chromatin will now look like this exactly what has been shown over here. So now this appearance is not looking like a caterpillar. This is looking like an owl eye appearance. So can I say that whether I call it a caterpillar cell or an owl eye appearance that is only on the basis of the uh, longitudinal or the transverse section that I'm looking at it. Otherwise both of them are at the end of the day Anishka cells which I'm seeing in rheumatic heart disease. So now that we are discussing this why not also finish off all the different owl eyes that I can see in pathology. So first and foremost, the first owl eye that I have is in front of you. That is the Anishka cells. But I hope now you know that Anishka cell being cut in a transverse section. The second owl eye is cytomegalovirus. And the third owl eye is going to be in Hodgkin's lymphoma, the reed Sternberg cells. So let's have a look at it. So for example, if they tell you that this is a kind of an owl eye inclusion that is seen and with which virus is it associated, you know that you're dealing with cytomegalovirus. And very carefully, if you see, this is a cell. And in this cell, I can see if I can draw it, I can see there are nuclei and there are two eyes inside the nuclei. So basically there are intranuclear inclusions. But that is the intranuclear inclusion that is giving it an owl eye appearance. And what is the color of these intranuclear inclusions? The color of these intranuclear inclusion is blue in color. That is what you need to remember. The eyes are blue in color. Apart from the intranuclear inclusions, you will notice that there are inclusions present in the cytoplasm as well. There are intracytoplasmic inclusions also. That is what you see in cytomegalovirus. Versus, <clears throat> if such a question comes, that the image that is shown below, uh, you can, if you look at this image, you very clearly know that I'm dealing with a Reed Sternberg cell. So here also I have a cell, we have these mirror image nuclei, but the color of the inclusions this time is pink. So this is also an owl eye inclusion. However, the color of the eyes over here is pink and that is how you differentiate the owl eye of a Reed Sternberg cell from the owl eye of a cytomegalovirus. Remember, in cytomegalovirus, the color of the eyes is blue, whereas in Reed Sternberg cell, the color of the eyes is pink. Well, 
solving this question. So you know that this image is a Reed Sternberg cell. They've asked you what is the origin of a Reed Sternberg cell or indirectly they've asked you what is the origin of Hodgkin's lymphoma. Hodgkin's lymphoma arises from B cells and to be very very precise Hodgkin's lymphoma arises from post germinal center B cell which has also been a recent exam question. Well with which we finished the spotter the 7 p.m. spotter and now we'll be meeting exactly in one hour where I'll be taking up the next spotter image and similarly we'll be continuing till 11 p.m. So the 7 to 11 series I hope you'll be following up the same.